So, hey guys, back again. So this time to receive all the posts inside our main um, route. So we need to create another action and another reducer. Okay, so let's go to reducers and add the reducer that is going to be get posts plural. Okay, and let's first get this working. Let me. Um, so this is similar to what we have, it's just the same, except for what we are going to uh, set as the initial state. Okay, so this is um, the get posts. We're going to set it to an empty array. And the type of the action we're going to wait is the get posts. And we're going to define this posts plural, okay? to um, whatever it returns. So an empty uh, array or an array with the documents from Firebase. And now let's go up here. Let me okay, minimize that. And we need to create a new action that is going to be also get posts.js. And this action, we're going to do this. We're going to import the configuration. And we still don't have the function, okay? Export inside our Firebase config or inside our Firebase class, but we will add that in a second. So let's actually add this. You already um, saw how it works. So let's say get post. So, but this time we're going to do it backwards. We're going to create first one the action and then the function inside the the Firebase class. So this is going to return another async function with the dispatch. And let me add a little space in there. It's going to be this constant posts array to the await of a function we still don't have that is firebase get posts and we're going to we can console that log so we can see the, the posts array and here dispatch the type nope the type that is going to be get posts and the payload that is going to be the posts array. Okay. And let's go to the config and create the new function that is going to receive or fetch all the posts from Firebase. So let me add this one above the create async. So we're going to create two functions right now. Okay. The first uh, function is going to receive get posts, all posts. So it's not going to receive anything uh, inside the parameters. And we're going to define something. Okay. Let array, let post array equals an empty uh, array and we're going to say constant posts equals await firebase firestore okay remember that this is a method and we need to get the collection that is posts and we need to call this get that returns a promise, okay? That's why we can use await here. So we're going to um, wait for all the information to be um, added, okay? And it's going to be stored in these posts. So now what we can do since once um, it hits line 58, it's going to have posts defined 
and we can say for each doc you can use map post array we're going to push to this a uh, post array but we have so we are going to create this and uh, as an object so it's going to be the ID the first um, property of that object so this array is going to contain objects okay the ID is going to be the document that ID and the data is going to have the document that data that all this is this is a method that is coming from um, Firebase okay here now we are going to return posts array that at this moment is going to be in case we have something is going to um, have a length above zero and we're going to define another function here just because it's similar that is get post singular and this get post is going to receive a post ID so we're going to define this one right away so this uh, receives all and this is only going to fetch for one so it's going to be constant post equals await firebase that firestore that collection the name of the collection that doc the uh, id of the document we want to get and actually the get method so this should return us the post that we are uh, expecting using this id and let's say constant we're going to call it post data and remember that this is going to and wait for the Firebase response. So once we hit line 68, similar to this one, it's going to have the post already filled with something. Okay. So this next line is going to wait until this line is um, already done, is finished. And the post is going to return with something, it's going to return with a data method. Okay, similar to what we are going to receive here and we're going to return that post data no nope, not like that <laughs> post data okay <clears throat> so let me explain this better this is a promise okay it's going to return a promise and that promise is going to have a method that has the information that is data so this post is going to have the promise okay and inside that post that is the full promise we're going to have the data of the document inside this data method okay and that is what we are going to return okay so that should be it so we can close the config everything should be fine we have the get posts and we will see how it works and later create the other the other one the get a single uh, post because we still need to have um, our component or main component ready to receive all that so let me go to my uh, main component and this is not going to be that much because we're only going to receive the information so we're going to import some things that is the use selector use dispatch okay so this is um, a place where we are going to um, use the state okay at this point we're just setting the state and yes we're just setting the state we are we haven't received that and use it in a component yet 
So let me get the action that is the, is this get post. Okay, remember we did that. And that that's okay for now. Okay. So we need to define some things here. Okay, I'm going to actually type this constant get posts selector. Okay, this is the name of the selector of the state. So this is going to use selector. Okay, and here inside this, we're going to set or define the state. I think we did this before, but we didn't use it. I can remember, <coughs> but we are going to tell, okay, we already did this, yes. So we're going to tell which part of the state we want. So we want the posts, okay, but as I recall, okay, we didn't add the reducer. So let's import um, get posts. So it's get posts from get posts. And this is the posts, okay, that we're going to access get posts. So let me double check that. Yep. And it's going to be the same for the other one, for the single post. We're going to check that in a second, but let's just finish this. So, as I said, we're going to use this new selector and we're going to pass the state, okay? And from the state, we're going to tell it what we want to access, okay? That is that posts that we just added in the reducers. Now, constant dispatch, because we want the action, is going to use dispatch. constant get users action dispatch get post so this is the action we are going to call as I said before we define this I can't remember on which one. Oh yeah, I think on the login. Let me just double check that. Uh, I'm not sure where on the navigation. Yes. So we did something similar here using the login and sign in. Okay. And we're going to do something uh, similar inside this one. So, uh, but first we need to call the action, not get get users. Why did I say get users? Get posts action. We're going to use the use effect and we're going to call our action. So get um, posts action and I think we're going to receive a warning um, okay so we're receiving from get post um, 8 it seems Let me close this. This is already done. <coughs> yeah, get posts. Okay, eight. That's the array that we are receiving. Okay, that's uh, what we are consuming here. So the action is working. And okay, I forgot how to do that because it is telling me that something is what. Get post selector is assigned to value whenever used. React hooks use effect. Okay, there's a fucking car passing with you know these speakers. Sorry about that. 
React Hook um, Use Effect has a missing dependency Get Post Action Either include it or remove the dependency array But if I remove the dependency array That is this one You can see that is um, actually caught in a infinite loop. Okay, so if I, I I can remember how this was, but it's saying that what which one is get posts get post action. I can't remember if if it was like this. Or it was inside the array, but it's uh, complaining because it's going to say uh, whenever that changes, we cannot um, have access to what is changing. Is kind of what it's saying, or we cannot tell you um, if this is actually changing or not. Okay, so that is the warning. But since I know it's going to change only once, okay, which with each um, mounting of the component so there's actually a way to set this I can't remember if it is with quotes I'm just going to try this one okay but I, I forgot as I said um, I don't use react that much but there's a way to handle this okay but uh, you actually need to have the array here because if you don't have it it's going to uh, re-render so what is going to happen is this it's going to call the action okay on every mount it's going to call the action and that action is going to call the dispatch so the dispatch is going to change the state of the posts which one the one we have already in the reducer so it's going to change this to an empty array to what we receive that is this object okay that that uh, what we are passing to that so each time it changes, it actually, I can remember if using memo here is going to change. Um, I can remember. Uh, I checked that a long time before, a long time ago, sorry, but I, I can I can remember right now. So maybe I will add the fix later before uploading to GitHub. I don't know, you can check it out. But the thing is that with each um, mounting is going to change the state and each change of the state is going to trigger again the mounting okay the use effect so it's going to mount again fetch the posts set the post to the state and since that change um, mount again and call the the action again and set the post again that changes the state and since the state is changing it's going to mount again you know that's why we are going to receive a ton of um, of these consoles so yeah the problem is here but I can remember how to how to handle that so this is going to actually close because this is not going to change and actually uh, the use effect is going to check for this if it changed but but because it's just an empty array and it's not being used anywhere, it doesn't change anymore. Okay, so that's why it stops the rendering and setting of the action and the state. Okay, so that's what actually is going on there. So we already have that, and there is time for us to actually receive the posts here. So let's say div class name. Um, do I have it? Okay, I have these posts. Let me just scroll down so you can see better. <clears throat> and now we're going to use the state. Remember that here we are setting the the state selector, okay, and the part of the state we want to select. That is the post that is coming from blah 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 this part and this part using get post is actually returning us this okay so we need to access that ok 
Okay, let me scroll this one again. So in order to access that, remember that we have the selector, the get um, get post selector. So we're going to use that. We're going to say get post selector, which is um, selecting the posts. So we're going to uh, use that. And now we are going to map. Okay. So at this moment, the post has one element or one object. So we're going to return a new um, element for each one. So it's going to say this div class name post. We need to define the a key that is actually unique so it, it knows how to re-render and call the information okay once we delete something or we change something it doesn't take that um, long to do it and it doesn't uh, take resources so let's say div i'm actually going to I'm actually going to copy this. Okay. So the main part here is the post that we have here. So let me just copy the rest. Okay. We're not going to see this one, I think, because we need the stylings. But um, we're going to define the background image inside this style to be the URL of the post. Remember that this is the post. The post has a data, okay, maybe you would understand better how it's coming if... So, where the fuck am I? I want actually the get post, but I want the action. Okay, see, well, you can see it here. Okay, this is it. If I can... What the fuck? So you can see that we already have the first post, the first post here. Okay, it's not showing the image because actually, what happens is that um, this link doesn't have the styling, so it's not displayed as a block. And sorry, not that link. Um, this div is not being displayed as a block; it's an inline element by default, so it doesn't have height. Okay, so that's why we cannot see the image. So we will fix that in a second. But uh, you can see here what um, the element has. So each post is going to contain a data and inside that data is going to contain the content, cover file, ref and title. Okay. And that's what we are accessing here with the data and what we want. Okay. In this case, it's the cover that has the Firebase um, URL to that, to that um, image. Okay, <clears throat> so save this. Let me close all this because we already we are done with all this thing. But let me just um, let me just copy. So uh, give me a second. Copy my control F to find so that one is has the class of post. So let's actually copy this post just uh, for you to see it. Okay, so I'm going to copy this inside my index CSS. I'm going to paste that. Okay, <clears throat> so you can see we have the styling, and um, this is, I think it's white on the application. So let's actually go and give this a little color. This is not part of the of the. You know, you can style it however you want. 
but I'm going to define some bits of color here so we can see okay you can see that we are getting this and this is just the full um, coloring and it's going to take me a lot of crap here that we're going to define later but just for you to see and let me get the navigation also I'm going to keep the transition out so this is just um, for you to see better what is going on the navigation um, um, if you want some um, you know styling with HTML CSS uh, let me know and um, maybe we can add a little tutorial about how to do that maybe follow because I've seen um, things like um, in Dribble and Behance you know some things that we can actually do with CSS okay. so we have this and you can see everything uh, looks better okay we can go to the next post it has this color sign in and login we still don't have that to the forms but we don't need that okay right now uh, you can style it however you want but well let's say if you want to copy this let's start from this okay body so you can see all this post the video and copy that the nav you want list to the header div okay i'm going to, that one is cutting so let's go to header div h1 all this thing okay in case you want to follow that and the rest of the post okay in case you want to add this same styling okay you are free to do whatever you want and we're going to finish this one here and continue in the next video.